This is the perfect excuse to splurge on one of my mugs because anything made in a Todd's Kitchen mug is simply delish. G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. If you're looking for a reason to buy one of my mugs from Todd'sKitchen.com, this is the perfect opportunity. Because today we're going to use one. So join me today as I make my version of a Christmas pudding in a mug. And don't forget to check out Todd'sKitchen.com where you can find my mugs. Okay, so I'm going to start this off with about two tablespoons of dried cranberries. These are dried sweetened cranberries. And I've got two tablespoons of whiskey. So I'm going to add just about two tablespoons in. And we're going to let that soak away for about 15 minutes. And of course, if this was for a child, you don't want to use a whiskey. You can use a non-alcoholic version of any flavor that you like. And for other alcohol versions, you can also use rum. That's another alternative to whiskey. Okay, so while they're soaking, next we're going to melt our butter. Now, the ingredients listed are for four standard size cups. But as you can see, mine's larger. So basically, I'm going to use half the amount of ingredients listed, which will make up one of my mugs. That's why I love these mugs, because they're so big. They're perfect for these type of recipes. So the ingredients listed below are for four standard mugs or two of my delicious mugs. So don't forget to check out Todd'sKitchen.com for my super delicious looking mugs. So I'm going to place in two tablespoons of butter and we're going to melt that in the microwave for about one minute just till it's a liquid. Okay, so now that we've melted our butter, next I'm going to place in our brown sugar. And again, don't forget the ingredients are listed in the description of the video. Followed by cocoa powder, one egg, some milk, some mixed spice or all spice. Okay, so with those ingredients, we're just going to give them a quick mix, just so they're all combined. Okay, next we're going to add in our self-raising flour. Now, if you don't have self-raising flour, you can use plain flour. Just add, say, about a half a teaspoon of baking powder to it. And then, as you can see, our cranberries have soaked up that whiskey. So we're going to place in half now. And mix everything through. Okay, so everything is now completely mixed through. So just... Take off the excess and just place the remaining cranberries just on top. And we're simply going to place this into the microwave for about two to three minutes until it's risen up and it's kind of bouncy on top when you push it down like so. And look at that and it honestly smells delicious. Now it's basically non-alcoholic since it's been put in the microwave but it does have that hint of whiskey flavor but mixed in with those lovely cranberries and chocolates. It will literally take you about three to four minutes to put together and cook from start to finish. It is that simple. So it is definitely a simple and easy and quick Christmas pudding treat to make and anyone and everyone will love it. So check out Todd'sKitchen.com for my fantastic mugs because anything you're cooking on is going to taste simply delish.